I'm Sean Heitz and this is Hard News for Monday, November 24th, 2014. A female esports competitor was threatened at a StarCraft II tournament over the weekend. Ukrainian StarCraft player Mihailo Haida tweeted, Going to rape some girls soon, hashtag Fragbite Masters, in the middle of a qualifying match of all things. He was specifically referring to his opponent, Madeline Leander, who recounted her experience to the site eSport. Now she noticed something was up when a few minutes into the first map, the game was paused. It was because of the tweet. Madeline found it scary to see this sort of behavior coming from a pro player, but acknowledged the organization did what it could and ultimately disqualified Haida from the tourney. Now, Haida later apologized for his behavior and took a hiatus from Twitter for a couple of days, noting he was really ashamed and wanted to kill himself. Based on that last tweet, it seems like Haida really learned something that day. On the other hand, people have yet to figure out that some crazy Kickstarter ideas should just stay crazy ideas. Bloodsport is a new technology being crowdfunded that incorporates the charitable act of donating blood and combines it with the fun of gaming. The tech uses an Arduino board to make sure the blood is being sucked from your body and you don't lose too much while playing. The issue here is that the blood is drained intravenously based on when the controller rumbles. So every time you're shot, you lose a little bit of blood. When Hard News was written, the crowdfunding campaign was at about $5,000 of the $250,000 Canadian dollars they're looking for, and the Kickstarter has been suspended for no real reason we can find yet, except this being completely batshit insane. But if you want to head over to the Kickstarter and try and toss your loonies at the secret group of vampire as they help to establish their new world order, by all means, go ahead. On to more crazy news, Raptor is trying to compete with MLG TV and Twitch by opening their own streaming service, Plays.tv. It's currently in open beta and it lets you share some of your best gaming moments with friends using the social service Raptor. Plus, there are some PC specific software that lets you download for free that will help you capture your gameplay more easily. I think more competition for streaming platforms is great, but considering Twitch came integrated into both the PS4 and the Xbox One, the battle for supremacy is already over. And lastly, PSN was hacked again! Along with some other stuff, maybe, kind of, sort of, or not at all. You see, this past Friday, a hacker collective known as Derp claimed they had stolen information from millions of users in Xbox Live, PSN, and even EA's Origin platform. They then posted on Twitter a few thousand of these usernames and information for public consumption. But that content was very quickly taken down and the Twitter account went dark. But there hasn't really been too much clarification on what actually happened until now. See, Sony has come forward after digging into the report and claims there no such intrusion has occurred. From their perspective, PlayStation takes these reports very seriously and they'll continue to monitor the network closely, but they don't know what they're talking about. So for now, it looks like we may have dodged a bullet, but stay vigilant, G1s. Hackers are everywhere. Isn't that right, feminist hacker Barbie? Our comment of the day comes from Touchy Banana, who says, Why only four hard news a week now? I thought there was one for each day except Saturday and Sunday. Sean should be replaced with someone else. Fine. But it won't make you happy to know that this week there will only be three episodes, because it's Thanksgiving. An American holiday where we eat more food than normal while thanking the indigenous Americans for letting us steal their country. Happy Thanksgiving! I'm Sean and that was hard news. If you hadn't already been joining us for our latest live stream of Far Cry 4, man, you are missing out. It's an amazing romp through the mountainsides of Karat as Sam and Chad dominate the local wildlife while in search of adventure. Man, those cuffin' honey badgers can eat a dick. Just click this window here to my left to find out what I'm talking about.